Hello everyone, Fringtastic here, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. In this video, I am taking on a behemoth, and the reason is, is because this behemoth is guarding my favorite pistol in the game, which is the P227. Now, I thought you actually started with this weapon's uh, blueprint, but... Apparently you do not. But before we jump into this, I do want to ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I would like to quickly go over my loadout for this. I am using the M4A1, which I recently got. And this is the kit that I decided to go with uh, during this little personal operation here. It, <laughs> look at it. It's a beautiful weapon. Let me quickly go over the attachments. Short barrel, 100 round mag, suppressor. I want to use the flash hider, but I don't have that yet. The mall laser sight, which is kind of weird because I normally typically go with the pick 15, but I'm wanting to give the mall uh, more playtime. The EXP3 XG33 sight, which is probably my second favorite sight in the game. Core CP stock, no reason. I just decided to pick that auto single. And the under barrel grenade launcher. Also, if you're wondering about my outfit, this is what I decided to rock in this video. Nothing too special. I threw it together really, really quickly. Uh, if you're wondering about this camo on my pants, that would be the chocolate chip camo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, chocolate chip camo. One of my personal favorite camos. I don't use it that much. All right, so with all of that out of the way, Let's jump into it. Also, I'm kind of wanting to test something out. I don't know how well this will work, but I am using Panther class because personally, I think the Panther class is just the best class to use when going up a behemoth because of the cloaking spray. But I never really used C4 on a behemoth before. So I'm kind of wanting to test something out with cloaking myself and then just throwing all my C4 I have in my backpack onto the behemoth and just seeing how much damage it actually does. It's probably not going to take out the behemoth, but I am very curious on how much damage it would take. So, let's jump into it. Literally, let's jump into it. Oh my god, I forgot I was free falling. Cloaking spray. I do need to remove the suppressor, but I don't think I really need to. Because I am Panther class. I think my only concern is this thing running me over. I don't know if it... It's not doing anything. It seems like it doesn't even care. It's not moving or anything. Watch me say that, and then it just move like an inch it just completely kills me huh that is weird they normally even with the cloaking spray they normally still like detect your movement so they start moving around and get suspicious but let's see here what Wait a minute. What the? At least I got to fire my weapon. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. This video is about to turn into something totally different. I was not expecting that. Look, this video was just going to be like a quick, I don't know, five, six, eight, ten minute video of me just fighting this behemoth. Uh getting my p227 blueprint and just moving on but that was unexpected D what? what was that supposed to happen uh the loot i need a yeah that's something else i need to turn on is my uh loot notification because i do like knowing what i actually pick up from the ground which realistically you would know what you pick up wait is that is it already on Okay, let me just go ahead and reload, which is honestly a waste of ammo, but I pretty much got all that back. Uh, yeah, okay, so that was super easy. Did I just discover the ultimate behemoth killer takedown maneuver? I don't even know what to call that. I, 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 I kind of, I 100% wish I had my face came up because my face is just so shocked. 
which by the way for the people who keep asking in my videos where's my face cam i'm actually not really going to be doing my face cam in certain videos live streams i will be doing uh face cam in live streams but most videos i'm gonna leave my face cam off unless it's one of those games where you just really need to see my reaction anyways moving on well i guess that's the end of the video folks uh well i hope everyone has a fantastic day and you will see me in the next one <laughs> no there's no way that didn't even go active i didn't even know that was there Wait, I gotta go to another behemoth. I gotta go to another behemoth. Where's one? Over here? Cool. I'll, cu I'll come over here. Just fast travel really quick. That's fine. This game loads super quick on my computer. But, oh, what? Did anybody know this? Did, did everybody know this? Or did I just discover it? I don't know. All right, I'm going to hit the bivouac, respawn a chopper, craft my um, C4 back. Which, by the way, in a recent live stream, apparently someone did not know that you could actually shop and buy your gadgets from here. Uh, I'm really surprised that people actually don't know this. But what I typically do, I'm going to go ahead and just buy this last one. But what I typically do to give myself, you know, the player a more immersive feel. I just craft my stuff when I'm out in the field and then I don't really buy. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to buy it anyways <laughs> for this video. I mean, I don't I'm not doing anything immersive in this video anyways, but I typically craft my stuff when I'm in the field and I buy when I'm at uh, Air One. Man, I got to say this video is just all over the place. <laughs> all right. I don't know if it's going to have the same effect because that behemoth did stand still like it didn't move at all and I don't think it was bugged I guess it just for some reason didn't detect me at all so I'm assuming I'm predicting that this next behemoth will actually do what the behemoths typically do and you know pick up my movement sound and start kind of reacting to that it won't detect me until I fire upon it uh, well, it still won't technically detect me, but it was still it, it would shoot rockets in my general direction But it won't know exactly where I'm at until it actually detects me when the cloak and spray wears off But okay, so it's to my left The ultimate behemoth killer maneuver. I, I don't know Okay, so this one sounds like it's moving Definitely sounds like it's moving. So if it's moving, I don't think I'm gonna be able to Put the c4 on it like i was the last time because i'm telling you it should even though i have the cloaking spray it should yeah okay so this one's moving which means the only thing i should really be concerned about is it running me over and if even if i hit a mark 3 emp it doesn't stay down that long What? I am so confused. Look, I... Uh, uh, what? Doing a little recap on the Mark III EMP that I was trying to explain until it completely proved me wrong. I fought this behemoths before. I fought these behemoths recently. Even in a recent live stream. And when they are in a combat state, a alert state, throwing a Mark III EMP from my experience, they don't stay EMP'd. They don't stay stunned that long. Maybe because it wasn't in a combat state, it was in like a calm state, the Mark III EMP actually had its full potential. It had its full effect. So it was, it stayed EMP'd for the longer amount of time like it's supposed to. And then that gave me the enough time to throw on all the C4. Oh my God. I wish I had my face cam. I am so, I don't know.
I don't know. This video started out for me trying to get my P227, and it's it's not even about that anymore. I don't even have that damn thing equipped. It's not even about that anymore. <laughs> the ultimate behemoth destroyer maneuver. The legendary behemoth takedown maneuver. My fans keep calling me a stealth god, so this is a very good stealth way to take out a behemoth. So maybe it's like a stealth god behemoth takedown maneuver. I don't know. I have no idea what to call it. Now, the only thing is it takes a lot of C4, but again, I don't know if I need to throw on all of those C4s. Hey. All right, uh, spray. Do I even really need the spray? If I can just EMP it and then run up to it and then just continually EMPing it, I don't think I even need to be Panther class. Which, by the way, I don't know if I've said it before, but I am using the Explosive Expert perk, which does give you a 20% plus explosive damage. Alright, here we go. I think I'm going to throw on the 6 Mark 1's EMP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It did not destroy it. I repeat, the 6 Mark 1's EMP or C4 did not take it down. What? I'm confused. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's in it's in combat state. It's in a combat state. It's in a alert state. That's why, see, I was saying earlier the uh the E Mark III EMP doesn't last that long when the behemoth is in a combat state. Which right now, even though it doesn't know exactly my position, it is alerted. I'm gonna go ahead and stealth spray, try to pick up my 2C4 I pick uh, through. Honestly, I think I only I think only one one missed. Can I see it with my vision? Guess not. Unless it actually like landed on it. Oh my god. It's gonna run me over. I only got two more of these. There we go. There we go. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So with that being said, I actually would highly recommend and advise you to just go ahead and throw on all the C4 you have. All the Mark 1s, all the Mark 2s. And don't even go for anything less. Which in total, I think that's like 10... C4. The Mark 1 C4 do a 500 explosive damage and the Mark 2 does a 800 explosive damage for each piece of C4. So add all that together, that is a lot of damage you're putting out, which is pretty insane. I'm not really going to do more testing with it. Like I'm not going to go to every single behemoth and see exactly what the right amount of C4 is. If you want to do that, you can. I, I'm just going to throw all the C4 I have. <laughs> but then again, one of my Mark II C4s might not have been on that thing. Because I did throw two. And I think one of them missed when it took off back that way. But it pretty much drove right back where the one that did miss would have been on the ground. So... I guess it would just be all the C4. That is insane, man. Insane. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you click that like button if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more content from me. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to name this title. This was not my original intent for this video. So, as always, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And you will see me in the next one.